Mischief Night, or Devil's Night, with origins in Detroit for pranksters and disturbances. See what these two have in store for us tonight on Scotia Night Wednesday Night Hockey. Jets on the puck first as Mason Appleton put it off the outside of the goal, then got knocked down by Johansson as it's thrown towards the net. Appleton trying to cause a little disturbance there in front of the line, lost his stick as Albert Johansson come back to get it. Johansson lays it over to Austin Watson who draws in the lineup tonight in the absence of Tarasenko who's out with a flu bug. Here comes Connor back the other way. Pass across, scores! Valerdi with the goal. Kyle Connor with the assist for career point 500. Down the other end come the Winnipeg Jets. Connor with a nice little saucer timing pass to Valerdi. Drives to the net with his stick on the ice and just pops that right into the top of the net. Congratulations to Connor, 500 points. Dion can't sit up for Connor, flip to the net, scores! He's got another one, setting up the goal by Neil Peel, who banks in the rebound. It's 2-0 Winnipeg. The, the other night, the Winnipeg Jets were 33% in the face-off circle. It's going to be a rough night. A little sharper tonight, Shifley wins the draw clean to Peel. He drops it over to Connor, who puts it to the net. Shifley's going to tip this thing, which makes it hard for Lyon to control it. He's got Velarde standing in front, the guy that no one's paying attention to. 14 seconds for Winnipeg. Velarde and Pionk with the markers. They look for more. Sandberg shot got through. Lyon with the save. Wings haven't had a shot on goal yet in this game, with six and a half minutes gone and a 2 nothing Winnipeg lead. Shifley puts it towards the goal, steered away by Lyon. Edmondson back up the middle and here comes Sire again. Dropped it off. Throw away to it. And a blocker saved me by Hellebuck. Forces him back of the net. Now played to the corner. Bergren has got it. Back to the point for Sherrod. Snap towards the net. Stop made by Hellebuck. Wings win the draw. Sider to Edmondson. His shot is blocked by Aya Fallow. Now he throws it back towards the net. Steered away by Hellebuck who's got a really nice set of hands, and he goes to the right spots on the ice. And, and you say, oh, that, oh is that all? Is that it? <laughs> that takes a lot. Ehlers stops, throws it to the point. To Mello, to Morrissey. Thrown on net, off the side by Lyon. And they're only lost. But what it means is when the Jets find themselves in a hole, they capture momentum, score their way out of it. The opposition, they can't come back if they're only getting one goal in a row. They're pretty good at coming back as well. Like I mentioned, they've allowed the first goal in seven of the first nine games, and six of those they came back to win, so they've got some resiliency to them. Here's Petrie hustling after the puck. Peter Ryder finishing his check on Petrie. Appleton will spring Lowry. Adam Lowry to Peter Ryder. Quick shot right on, and Lyon gets across. Lowry filled the middle lane. Peter Ryder drive to the net. Here's Healers, got it in the slot, oh, and up back here by Perfetti, and it's off the crossbar and out. Great shot by Cole Perfetti. Just needed it down about an extra inch, and that's in the back of the net. Here's Kane up with it, hands it off, Johansson walks in, takes the shot, stopped by Hellebuck. Rebound corralled by Kane. Go play it. Down in the corner, trying to get it back in the net for Kopp, but it took a bad bounce off. For two of his for the Jets, they'll get it out. Perfetti stopped at center. Dustin Hall up ahead for Kane. Patrick Kane slides it over to Kopp. Kopp throws it back through the slot. Can't connect with either Kane or Kopper in the wings. Are now back on their heels with the Jets coming up by Fullerty. The Connor scores! What a play and what a goal! Connor, Connor tucks it home. Three nothing Winnipeg. And then watch the speed of Connor. His feet never stop moving, and Siders do. As he as his feet kind of slow down, he cannot keep up with the speed that Connor has built from the other end of the ice. I mean, that's almost jumping on the freeway standing still. And as he tries to block out Connor, he doesn't want to take a penalty. You cannot block him out. You need him to do it here in Detroit, as you saw there. Absolutely. Uh, his family and friends here to be able to have the kind of first period he's had. 
Uh, for Detroit, they've just got to ante in here a lot more. They've got to get a lot more firmer in their game. Shifley over to Ehlers. Nikolai Ehlers drops it. Paul Perfetti steps a high one off the mask of Ryan, and it's settled down by Ehlers. Thrown back towards the net. Skipped away from Shifley. Hard to get in the open spot. It gets out in the neutral zone, and all of a sudden it's rotated to the wall. Ehlers comes through with speed. He's able to drop it to Perfetti. You've got the D joining in as well. And it just makes it hard for the Red Wings to be standing in a pile of people, and all of a sudden the puck would come firing out through the pile at him. Centered in front, Perfetti put it off the post. So the Wings go to their second power play of the night. Puck comes back for more insider. Sutter got a cross. Pepper shot scores. Dylan Larkin. Power play goal, and Detroit's on the board. They're going to go have a conversation here and have a look at this goal. 33 power play goals since 2022. There's nobody. He's doubled the guy next to him. And the, and the penalty by Sandberg in the offensive zone comes back to bite the Jets. Well, coming just six seconds into the power play. Connor looks to respond. He's denied by Lyon. Now tipped out by Ehlers. Perfetti back the other way. Nemesnikov going to the net. Perfetti cuts in the middle. Drops. Stanley with a shot. It's stopped by Lyon. Rebound is cleared away by Detroit. To be outdone. Perfetti comes in as he trips. He drops it right to Stanley who gets a Wings get it back. Sider. Laid off for the break. It broken up by Ayafalo. And Moritz Sider is forced back to center. Dylan Larkin. Back for Patrick Kane. Dropped it off to Sider. Played over to Raymond, shot scores! The Brinkin got a piece of it in front. Power play goal again for Detroit, and it's a one goal game. It's going to turn one over at the top of the blue line, and Sider turns it to Larkin, who gets three hard strides into the middle to gain the line, drops it to Kane, nice little backhand slasher. And then it's Raymond to the net, and the tip by De Brinkin. Oh, everyone touches this puck. It's Lovely to see when everyone's got a hand in on it. It starts out in the neutral zone. Sider does a nice job of backing up to bring out on the turnover. Larkin driving into the middle of the ice. Second. They seem to get their legs. The crowd got into it, and now they've been playing a better brand of hockey. Two power play goals almost looked identical, except one went into the slot to Larkin, and the other one was right on the tip of the break. Out. Scores! Puck goes in the net here on a... Bad bounce for the Red Wings. Ten seconds into the period. Exactly what you don't need if you're Detroit. You just got back into this hockey game and they win the draw, Winnipeg, and it's a dump in by Pionk and Niederreiter gets on the puck and he just kind of wins the battle for the puck. And it's just a single one hand off of Petrie. He just knocks it towards the net and it goes off the skate of Sherratt. It looks like it goes off the heel of the stick of Lyon. We'll see if it does right there. It looks like it might have gone off the heel. Last second, looked for that seam right through, and he didn't fool Fisher. Nemesnikov onto the wing for Ayafalo, dropped it back. Pionk scattered, walks in, scores! Neil Pionk with his second of the night. And it's 5 2 Winnipeg on a power play goal by the Jets. This wasn't a tough save to make. As you take the line, Pionk does a nice job of just cutting in and finding the open ice, and then it's just a wrist shot from well above the top of the circle. And I'm not sure if there's something in his way. I don't think there was really anything that would have stopped his vision. This is just a clean beat on the stick side. He pulls the trigger. And Diving for it, trying to clear it out was Fisher. Couldn't get it by Morrissey. Kyle Connor back to Morrissey. Over to Connor with a drive. Kicked out by Lyon. Rebound in front. Shifley trying to get to it. He's dumped. And Lyon will hold on. One second left of the power play. Larkin out of the box. Miller scores! Colin Miller with a shot that finds the top corner just as the power play expired. And it's 6-2 Winnipeg. Tonight, they generate a lot. And of course, 33% against the Leafs the other night. Tonight, much better. They come into this period well over 50 percent and again this is a puck that i believe lion has a look at the whole way and he whiffs on it and this is real pionk without a hat trick in his career back 
back the other way for Detroit. On his pit camp, throws it on net. Hell of a to stop. When they won game seven and eight and knew that there were some things that were off a little bit, but it's hard to tell a team they're not playing well when they're 8 no, right? And those things jumped out versus Toronto, and they've corrected some of them, and a much better game for the Jets tonight.